Hey y'all, back down to the basement. Figured I might shoot a little more video today. Shoot a little technical video and all. But uh, we're gonna do this on uh, relays. All right. Now there's several buddies of mine on there that done some fantastic relay videos and especially in the last two weeks, man, like Dr. Z's video and Mikey's video. I suggest y'all go check that out, man. Uh, Dr. Z's was intense, you know. Uh, let's say you welded in a uh, reversing valve in backwards, and uh, I would, you know, I'm just now re learning the relays myself. The reason I'm shooting this is to help out, uh, you know, the fellers and the gals coming up in the trade. And, uh, man, I've, I get hands-on experience. I like putting my hands in it. But anyway, Dr. Z's was, he welded, or uh, got welded in backwards, but he was able to fix it electrically with that dude right there, with that relay, okay? Mikey's video, oh my God, that's like next level. That's like, his video was all about, uh, say you go on a job on Saturday, it's one o'clock in the afternoon, parts houses are closed, and you gotta tell this little old lady that, uh, you know, ma'am, you know, I know it's 98 degrees out there, and uh, but I ain't going to be able to get back to you till Tuesday. You know, that board ain't going to come in till Tuesday. But uh, he was able to, and the power is off. He was able to do it electrically, man. He used a relay, and he used it to where everything would cycle just like you had a board. But that is not for the heating mode, okay? Yeah, you can listen to his disclaimer. But the reason I'm doing this is because there is so many different things you can do with these things, man. And the thing that I learned how to do with them, and another buddy of mine, we got together and talked about it, was uh, I had an electrician buddy of mine, Bobby called me and said, Fritz, he said, we're getting ready to put this power vent in, or we already got it in, and uh, we just got told code-wise that uh, you can't have a power vent running with the furnace on. Okay, well, normally you wouldn't because you're pulling that, using that power vent, you know, in the cooling season, but it's just a code here in the state of Kentucky. It has to be proven that the that the uh the power vent went out when the uh furnace is energized okay so uh i learned how to do that electrically all right man uh, i put the schematic up here there's one two and three you see that four five and six one two and three is basically its own contactor four five and six is basically its own contactor one is neutral or common four is neutral or common Two is normally closed, five is normally closed, three and six are normally open, okay? But that reverses. This is, uh, once 24 volts is applied to this coil, and that's what that coil is, dog. Uh, the coil is 24 volts. Once 24 volts is energized, all right, well, look, all right, hold on. Before we can even start this, <laughs> we gotta have that transformer in here, all right? So that transformer is, uh, uh, step down transformer 24 volt and with this one uh, it's got multiple uh, voltage on it man real nice uh, transformer uh, white is primary okay basically neutral white primary so that is out of the loop to change voltages is going to be the changing of these wires now here's my voltage coming in which is my line line is voltage line is voltage that's always going to be that black wire. It, might, it don't matter what color it is, but whatever the line is, it's going to remain the same. All right, so let's say I need 208 volts. I'm going to take that red one. I'm going to tie it to that black one. If I need uh, 240 volts, I'm going to take this orange one. I'm going to tie it to that black one. But make damn sure y'all uh, cap these because, uh, you know, if they ground out, man, pff, boom, it's fried. And speaking of being fried, <laughs> what I do on this, man, is the 24 volt. Now I look at this, the blue is the common side of this 24 volt, and the yellow is the 24 volt itself. What I do is I take, I come off my yellow here, and I, I went up to AutoZone, I bought like 35 of these, man. They're probably buck 50 or something a piece. And I bought me some three amp fuses. But what I do is I come directly off my 24 volt, not my common. Now see, a lot of y'all are gonna argue with me, 24 is 24, but not anymore. Uh, I come off this yellow, this 24 right here. I cut it in two. I cut that thing right in two, and then I tie in my, my inline fuse, which I got the three amp fuse in there. And on the other side of where I cut it, I tie that back into the other side of my inline fuse, and I take it right up here to the coil, and the power is off. With the blue, I tie it dude in, and we're ready to rock. All right, man, uh, 
well, let me get after this uh, get a few things together y'all and uh, we'll see what we can do hey y'all we're gonna start like this uh, on my board here this is my hot coming in it'd be like uh, coming in off my door switch or whatnot and uh, when I go hot with this it'll energize my transformer okay and what I want to do right now is just a real quick test and uh, we're gonna set this to ohms okay set the fill piece to ohms she's ready to rock of course she's ohmed out right now okay the reason you're hearing that beep is because we have uh, continuity okay and the reason we have continuity is because if you remember correctly one to two was normally closed okay now let's power our transformer she's out of the loop 24 volts energized on that coil now what was normally closed is now open line baby okay let's get out alright cool we proved continuity beep beep you know and we proved it in between well we actually didn't do did we but uh, trust me I would have did that on that too but uh, anyway, uh, let's uh, perform a test right now. I'm going to take this uh, hot side. I'm going to take this hot side and I'm going to hook it to my relay on my second terminal, which is normally closed. And I've already got my neutral terminal hooked to my common side of my relay. All right, this uh, light here is just... Uh, it's going to simulate uh, that uh, power vent that uh, we were talking about that my electrician buddy put up in the attic. Okay. Now we have our uh, our first uh, terminal strip here, and that's what's supplying our power. Okay, that's our voltage, and that's coming up here. Voltage is line. Voltage is line, and that's feeding our transformer. Okay. Now. On the relay, you still have to have 120 volts, or whatever your relay is calling, applied to it. What that relay is doing, once the transformer is energized and uh, getting 24 volts to my coil, it's dropping, it's either, it's electromagnetical. Oh my God, that's a big word. But anyway, all right, let's prove this, okay? This is always gonna be hot, okay? This is the voltage coming in. There's our, uh, our fan up there, that power fan just sucking all that heat out. Bah! Okay, okay, well let's apply our voltage to our transformer, which is gonna apply 24 volts to our coil, which is gonna make that normally closed switch do what? Let's apply voltage. Let's take voltage out. Okay, so he's hot. Let's apply voltage. Man, that's wicked. Okay, let me uh, let me set up another simulation here. Uh, well, actually, what I'm going to set up is uh, what we talked about. Once that furnace energizes, we want we want that power vent to go out. We can't uh, by code in the state of Kentucky. Once that blower motor's going and we we got the heat on and gas valves open, and everything uh, she can't be in the loop anymore. She's got to drop out of the loop drop out of the loop all right man let's do it all right that sneak peek you've seen is representing the furnace okay now we discovered code in Kentucky states that you cannot have that power vent up in the attic and have a furnace up in the attic a gas fired furnace in the attic without that furnace without that uh, power vent being proved that it goes out when uh, we energize the furnace okay and that's what's representing that, and that light right there is representing that daggone power vent. So what we're going to do is we know we always have voltage here. We have to have applied voltage to our relay, period. That's just like in Mikey's video off the door switch and all. But anyway, uh, now let's just apply the voltage. Okay, with the applied voltage, that fan is just, you know, it's doing its thing, man. It's sucking out what it's got to suck out up there. All right, well... Man, I got cold in the house and I want to energize the furnace. Well, let's do it. We can't have that fan running. That's where it relay comes into play. Let's do it. Bam. Fans out, furnace is on. 
rock and roll.